pieces. A mock meter. The collections. Goes to Mach 1. Chuck Yeager signed it. In Tom Bellinger's office. This is actually Joe DiMaggio here. Gives a glimpse at a long life of hobbies and service. You don't see too many of those around. So but his real expertise. We're looking right now at a fairly heavy snowpack. The role that what? snow plays in hydrology in the mountains. I was a hydrologic modeler and I would do computer models of river basins and forecasts for snow. Now he's a professor at Metropolitan State University of Denver, which included teaching students about how to analyze avalanche danger. He took them to the mountains to see the dynamics firsthand. He says the sheer amount of snowfall the state has gotten has played a big role in the avalanches we've seen recently, but there's more to it. And also what happens in between snowstorms to the snowpack to create different layers of strength within that snowpack. And what those layers in the snow do, he says, plays a role. So that could be a settling of a snowpack. It could be melting of the surface of the snowpack. And every time there's a layer, you have the potential for um, uh, something that could fail. And while dry spells usually mean less snow and lower risk, when that happens could change things. Let's say you've had a bit of a dry spell in, say, February and uh, things tend to maybe ice up a little bit uh, and the snowpack hasn't been snowed on very much. When you get into March, which is our heaviest snowfall month, suddenly you get a big dump of snow and all that snow is laying on top of those weaker layers that probably have formed uh, through the dry spell. So overall, it's hard to predict. But Professor Bellinger also says climate change is on the other side of the coin to this as we're experiencing uh, more extreme snowstorms. Tom came on a really separate note here. He, it really acts as a double-edged sword because Professor Bellinger says all that snow at the top of the mountains there, it can actually also come to an aid, though, for the Colorado River water levels, basically, that we've been talking about uh, a lot with a lot of those drought issues. Well, we'd like so. it to melt and not collapse right as it often does and it can be triggered or it can happen just because the the weather the wind yeah. the warming temperatures all of a sudden here it comes and he says it's actually kind of rare to see what we saw in Ofer to have actual infrastructure take a big hit but um We'll just have to see how the rest of the season plays out. Yeah, the layers, though, kind of make sense. I mean, it's these warnings, it's so it's it's awful to hear about these cases because a lot of people are experienced. They get caught in these avalanches. Right. There's a lot of educational resources out there. He, of course, encourages people to take advantage of that. So be careful. Be careful. All right. Thank Please. you, Luis.